Hey guys, this is the 12th city of the Dodecapolis. We are almost done, but this doesn't mean the city won't be any less interesting compared to the others. Today we are talking about Velsna, the Etruscan city which fought against Rome the longest and was successful throughout the decades. Before I get into that, let's start from the beginning. Velsna was founded in the 9th century BC and just like many other Etruscan cities, they thrived economically in the 6th century BC. Their economy was based mostly on metal extraction and manufacturing, especially bronze, but they were also lucky enough to have a great source of bucero to make vases, just like Arantium. The city was relatively wealthy, it was governed by an oligarchic government, had a stable economy and was described by many writers as a very nice city. However, Velsna is remembered for being one of Rome's harshest enemies in Etruria. I don't really know what started the conflict in the first place, perhaps they were close friends to Velsna and QZ, it's hard to tell. All we know is that the war lasted for a very long time. Most of the Roman authors writing about Velsna describe the city as pretty and rich, but the people as immoral and invirtuous. I guess this was done to promote a bad image of them so that the Romans won't be against the war and the soldiers will be more willing to fight against them. Basically Roman propaganda. I never really got into the details of what kind of relation the Romans had with each Etruscan city, but gathering the pieces of of what I said in the previous episodes, we can probably assemble the bigger picture and separate the cities in a series of categories. As Rome's influence increased, some oligarchic governments in the Dodecapolis slowly became more and more influenced by Rome until they became Roman allies or puppets. Velatri and Servetri were among the first. Then others followed, like Tarcuna, Rentium, Cusi, Fulci and Persuna. Some others were conquered into some missions like Cusi and Corton. Others just decayed indirectly due to Rome's expansion, like Pupluna and Vetluna. Velsa would technically fall into the category of the ones that died fighting, but there is a lot more than that. Rome's and Velsna's conflict didn't last a few years, nor a few decades, but at least a century. Rome initially intended to take over Velsna by placing a puppet government there and, and just leave it as it is. However, the people of Velsna were so against this that they just rebelled. Many Romans and high ranking generals lost their lives in an attempt of taking down Betluna's rebel government. Armed conflict between the two lasted from 392 BC up until 264 BC, when finally Roman consul Marcus Fulvius Flaccus succeeded into defeating the Etruscan army and destroying the city. The survivors moved out and settled somewhere else, uh, not too far from the ruins, and built a new city called Volsidi, which would later become a prosperous Roman settlement. Today the ruins of old Velsna have only been partly recovered, but most people believe it is situated around Orvieto. That being said, that's all I got with the Etruscan to the Capolis. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time with a new series on ancient civilizations.